Welcome back, it's me Lou. And for today's action figure review and unboxing, we're going to take a look at this. This is the Marvel Avengers Mech Strike Captain America. And this is a new product by Hasbro. And if you remember last week, I reviewed the standalone Mech Strike Captain America figure. But what sets this one apart is that it actually comes with this cool giant mech armor. Now this is clearly aimed at kids as stated up here it's four and above. This isn't really aimed at your adult collector. Um, for those of you who collect Marvel Legends and McFarlane figs and WWE Elites. Uh, those are higher end collectibles whereas this is a product that's clearly aimed at kids. It's more pr uh, play friendly and just the fact that it comes in an opened air box like this where the figures kind of stand out and they're not encased behind the window that kind of really gives it away that this is hey this is a toy you know kids get to play with it and it's cool I like this kind of stuff I gravitate towards this kind of stuff um, don't get me wrong I love the higher end collectibles and even occasionally the really premium items but for me this really appeals to <laughs> my inner child and I just like cool toys which this fits the bill. You have the giant robot, you have Captain America, and me being a fan of Cap and also just being a fan of robots in general. This is totally my speed. So let's take a look at the package. First off, the package design is awesome. I love the illustration in the corner. It's a fun, very anime-esque take on Cap's armor. So if you're a fan of stuff like Iron Man's Hulkbuster, you know, this is, is a kind of a callback to that. Um, I, love, I love the white packaging. It really stands out on the shelf. And as I talked about earlier, um, I believe this Avengers Mech Strike uh, toy is inspired by and influenced by the comic book miniseries that's currently going on. So this is the Captain America Ultimate Mech Suit. And it says here, Captain America gears up in a massive high-powered mech strike suit to combat the evil Thanos. So here we have a pretty cool render of the toy. I believe that's a render. I don't think this is the actual physical model. Here's the actual fig inside the armor. And here's another one showing the play feature. How you kind of slap cap inside of them. So yes, I'm excited. This is a cool toy. And... Uh, Let's get this thing open. So pretty much the only thing holding in place are these ties. Um, I'm not sure if I, I don't. I don't think I'll need scissors for this. Maybe. Uh, actually, I do. Uh, let's get these. Let's get this guy freed from his cardboard prison. And this plastic does not want to get cut. <laughs> There you go, there's that. Alright, something's holding them down in the back. What's holding them down? Alright, here's the mech suit. Very hollow, very flimsy. Um, I can't remember how much I paid for this. I want to say maybe... Fifteen dollars, I think. Fifteen or nineteen. All right, this is a kind of cheap plastic, also. I'm kind of surprised that the figure is kind of out in the open like this. Um, not that it's easy, but if someone really wanted to, I feel that they could easily just, I don't know, cut this guy out at the store and just pickpocket him out. Alright, so here we have Cap. Uh, we'll take a look at him in a little bit. Let's get his shield free from its little plastic prison. Got a shield. Um, I believe this is probably like all the warnings for kids. Um, 
And if you look inside, his feet of the mech suit, they're not attached, so we have to free these separately. I'm kind of wondering if they're both identical or if one's actually left foot and one's actually right foot. Okay, this, they might be identical feet. Which I'm glad because I don't want to. There's always the occasional action figure where the act, there's a factory error and you end up with like two right hands or two left feet. Alright, got his feet freed it. And uh, let's take a look at. Mech Strike Captain America and his ultimate mech suit. Okay, so first thoughts as soon as I freed this guy, uh, very f flimsy, um, very hollow. That's not to say it's a bad thing, it's just that just feels like the nature of the toy right now. It's not like you know, when I took this guy out, I didn't expect a super high end, you know, action figure of the sort. I knew I was getting into. It seems durable enough that if a child dropped this, it's not going to break. It might get scuffed up. Um, so in terms of his, of this guy's articulation, you have... You might be able to see it better like this. So you have his arms, swivel, shoulder rotates like this. It's an elbow joint. And it's kind of nice, too, that it's attached with a screw. So um, if, I, if I wanted to get... To be a little bit more hardcore, I could easily take this guy apart and give him a new paint job, which I think would be kind of cool. And when you open him up, it's not just completely bare plastic. If you look, there's some tiny details sculpted on the inside. So if you're a customizer, there is room here for improvement. You, know, you could get crazy and add more painted up details or who knows, just add all sorts of your own personal bits to this to make this thing seem more premium than it deserves to be and then here's the feet let's figure out what to do with the feet so uh, both these feet they look like oh I take it back one they're not identical all right so uh, the way we figure out which one's which is that the screws go on the inside so let's get this guy's feet attached All right, I'm just looking at the box right now to make sure I don't put the wrong foot on the on the wrong leg. Okay, so the so the feet so the plastic. If you look here, uh, there's two teeth here, and these flex in, and then the plug into here, and a latch onto one of the edges on the inside of the foot, and it nice, satisfying snap in, and doesn't pull out. And we'll do the same here. Okay, now that it's complete, I'm kind of digging his proportions. It's kind of, it's kind of a mixed bag. So if you're a serious collector, you can look at this and just think it's crap. And but for me, I'm looking at it, and it's if you're a kid and you're like anywhere between the ages of like three to like, although they do recommend you know ages four and up, but. If you're three years old, up until maybe like, <laughs> I was about to say nine, but I'm not sure if kids nowadays even play with toys anymore. So if, but, but then again, nine seems too old to be playing with action figures, but I was probably like, God, how old was I when I stopped playing with action figures? I was probably about, I think I might've been, I still remember the last time I played with my transformer toys, like I actually sat down and played with them, like had storylines and made the characters you know, talk and all that kind of wackiness. I was probably like, I think 10 years old. The last time I played with my Transformer toys when I was in elementary school. I remember I came home from school. I had my toys already on the table because I was playing with them earlier. And I think I was playing with Metroplex and then some other Transformers. And I was at, I was really into pro wrestling at the time. I, I mean, I still am, but 
I just wouldn't have my fu- my Transformer robots fight like normal, like, you know, shoot their guns at each other, like, pew, pew, pew. I'd, like, have them do, like, wrestling holds on on each other. And I remember I took Metroplex, and I took so- another one. It was a smaller Transformer, and I mem- I gave him a pile... I gave Metroplex a pile driver. And as soon as I gave Metroplex a pile driver, he snapped at the waist. And I just kind of remember, I wasn't upset that I broke the toy or anything. It was kind of, it's kind of like, okay, I guess that's it. I'm done with these Transformer toys. Because he snapped in half, and then I just remember picking myself up, looking at him, like, okay, let's go find something else to do. And that I think that was the last time I actually, like, played play with Transformer toys. But I think with stuff like Marvel action figures, I might have been a lot older. Like, maybe, like, I don't know, like, <clears throat> 16 or something, so... Okay, enough about that. Okay, so here we are. We're looking at this guy. He looks like... we. After you assemble the legs, he looks like a play school kind of like robot, which I don't mind. I think it looks cool. It's he's, he's, there's something silly about this, but it's like a, a cool kind of silly. Um, I, I I don't know. I'm kind of in love with this guy. He's, he he feels like he feels flimsy. He feels hollow, but as a toy, I want to play with it. If that makes sense, because it's. If he's very limited in his articulation. You just have the arms and stuff. His head can't even turn. But the fact that I can open him up and then Captain America could go inside of him like this. There's like a little peg there and a hole here and he plugs in. It's really cool. Whoops. And, <laughs> and th- th- there we go. You know, this thing, this, it didn't break right off. See, this is a very flexible plastic. And that gives you an idea of what holds this together. There's... Two little uh, studs there, and then this little thing. It's made of that kind of plastic that I'm not worried about it breaking. Uh, maybe over time if the plastic becomes brittle, but it's that kind of, I don't know, it's, very, it's that really kid-friendly kind of plastic. So that this just kind of snaps back in, and voila, we have Cap in his armor. You have to make sure the arms are kind of out a little. That's the one th- design that bothers me is that you can't encase Cap entirely. There is this giant gap in his side, and you can see the arms sticking out of the robot. But the idea of exosuits and, um, you know, people piloting them, it's its not a new concept. I kind of fell in love with that idea when I saw the um, aliens with Sigourney Weaver, and she gets into the power loader unit. And, the idea, you know, people love the Hulkbuster Iron Man inside of it, the, another Iron Man armor. It's almost like one of those Russian nesting eggs. So the idea of a power armor is cool, and the fact that they gave one to Captain America is awesome. And there's this extra bit here, and I think it plugs into the back. Or does it? Yeah, I don't know what this really does. It plugs into the back. It's like a... It doesn't really say what it is. I don't know. But I'm, I'm guessing maybe there's more play feature to this, because there's, there's um, slots here. And apparently this peg's too small, so. And there's another hole here in his forearm. I'm not sure what that's to plug in. Or does this serve as a shield also? I don't know. Well, it kind of, yeah, I guess you could kind of put this on here as a shield if you wanted to. But this this piece here is interesting because this looks like if you're familiar with the um anime Robotech and Macross there's the Valkyrie power armor not the the, the jet powered stuff um, that allows them to like break orbit but the actual like powered armor that goes on the mechs and this looks like the chest piece so I'm not sure if that was like whoever designed this was a Macross fan or I don't know but that's a deep cut kind of deal so but yeah here he is Captain America in his ultimate mech suit and it's pretty wild, you know, you could like go, whoa, Captain America, you know. Doctor Doom's evading New York. Hop in your armor and power up, baby. And I'm kind of curious if this um, mech suit, because I've seen, I think, two other figures in this line. I've seen Black Panther and Iron Man. And I wonder if those figures are interchangeable with the mech suits. Like if Iron Man could like... Um, you know, pilot this dude, or if Black Panther could pilot it also. And I haven't done any research online, um, so I don't really know if there is a Black Panther mech suit or Iron Man mech suit. Oh, speaking of 
let's bring out the the standalone Mech Strike uh, Avengers cap figure. So in a previous video, I reviewed this. Well, this was a standalone figure, came on a card, and this falls into the same line. Um, I like this figure a lot because, as opposed to the Iron Man and the Black Panther one, this one, the sculpt on this one seems a lot nicer. This kind of falls more in line with um, the 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 budget Avengers Infinity War and Endgame figures. If you've seen those, they're, now that's the line. That's not the Marvel Legends one, but um, they're they're for those movies, and the sculpts are really nice. But they're somewhat shorter figures, maybe by half an inch. And their articulation is a little bit limited, but not a whole lot. And this is a nice figure. And as opposed to the, the Iron Man and the Black Panther, those almost look... Now, these are kitty toys to begin with. I mean, all toys are kitty toys. But those are like almost like a step down from this figure. Because I feel this figure has a really nice sculpt to it. This one's higher. This one feels higher end. And when I saw this... Um, this new Mech Strike armor at the store, I was really pleasantly surprised to find that they weren't just giving me a repaint of this guy and just packaging him up uh, with the armor. This is actually a, a completely different figure altogether. So we'll take a look at this guy also. Alright, so we have the standalone cap and we have the cap that comes with the mech armor. And right off the bat, they're roughly the same, same size. This guy's just a hair taller. Each one comes with a your respective shield. This guy comes with a very uh, tech looking kind of shield. Whereas this cap comes with the traditional Captain America shield. This guy's, um, this, these colors almost resemble more so Cap in, um, in the second Cap movie. Is that Winter Soldier? And then Cap has a stealth outfit. So this, see, this one. I don't know, this figure just seems very cinema-like. It's more movie-inspired. This one also very, seems very movie-like. This feels... When I look at this, my first thought is this kind of really reminds me of um, Cap's outfit in the first Avengers movie. Uh, it's a lot brighter. The design's a little bit sleeker um, as opposed to this one. This one's very... If you look at this guy, I love this guy. It's like very tactical, heavy armor. This is the kind of cap that he's like serious about business and he's gonna like mess people up like lots of people this guy has armor too and this one's more movie inspired i mean they both are but this is the cap when he's kind of like i don't know it's like a lighter fare like he's gonna take on like maybe just like half a dozen guys as opposed to like a dozen guys and he shares the same kind of articulation he has his shoulders that move and th this, the plastic on these figures, they seem more durable than, um, I want to say, than some of the Marvel Legends stuff. Because these, these are going to be handled by little kids. So I, I, I kind of think these are just more durable to begin with. Uh, this joint's a little, it's not stuck, but it's just tight. I always get worried about moving shoulder joints. Because I've had so many where the plastic either gets locked up in the joint inside and it just breaks like you're twisting it, but you don't realize it's not really moving on the inside and it's just, at some point you're just going to break it. But this guy, he's durable. He has the kind of articulation that you'd expect for a budget figure, but I think just a little bit more so. Um, you know, you could like, if you wanted to, you could like super kick cap over here. You can't, if you have both of them and you're a kid, you could be stoked because you can have like mirror battle. Like one of them is the, the fake imposter who had like plastic surgery and he's like sleeping with Cap's girlfriend. His knees move. Yeah, so these are cool. Now what I want to see now, I want to see them repaint both of them. Like I want to see this dude in this guy's colors and this guy in this guy's colors. And if they're smart, they'll do that. Oh, this Cap too. He has like... um. His helmet covers his ears. Where this guy is like prone to like getting, you know, being deaf. Like if he gets too close, like loud noises. And just like the other cap, his shield plugs in. Now this is, I could dig this. Like this shield, the plug is off center. And I talked about it earlier that you have to plug it in a certain way or it sits too high up on him. Whereas this guy, his shield 
Um, the skull, his nice sculpting detail on the inside as well. It's the traditional cap straps. But the nice thing about the peg being perfectly centered is that, you know, it goes in and it looks decent on them. So, yeah. And it plugs into this arm here. And this is where I give this guy um, the edge. He has a longer um, plug on his shield versus this dude. This dude has a very... Um, he has a stubbier plug. <laughs> so he needs to take like the blue pill or whatever the hell it is. So it could get hard. Um, yeah, so, and I don't know. This one... Yeah, that's my biggest gripe about this guy is that his, the, the plug on his shield isn't really long. So it doesn't go deep. <laughs> it's better if it goes deep, right? So yeah, uh, it's alright. It gets the job done, but... I just feel that after a while, especially if you look at the hole here, it's not completely flush. So this isn't going to plug in as deep as, as, as it should. I'm, I've been, I don't know, I'm like fixated on this long plug deal. So yeah, this guy could go deep, this guy can't. This guy's straight to the nuts. Okay. So, uh, in closing, we have Mech Strike, Captain America, and his fancy new armor. I'm guessing if this was real world, this is a kind of like the Hyundai of like power loader armor. It's not the Bentley or the Ferrari of Mech armor. This is kind of like the Hyundai. Of mech armor but that's not to say it's not a great toy i love this for the price i paid for it i'd buy another one if i could so i talked 20 minutes too long for this video for a figure that most of you don't buy but i love it this thing is awesome buy it so once again i'm lou go out and find yourself this mech straight captain america and you won't regret it and i will talk to you later Later.